This is Elon Musk. Now, I'm sure to most of you, he needs no introduction. He has a divisive reputation. But for those of you who don't know, he's best known for being CEO of the Tesla car company. He's also current head of the aeronautics company SpaceX, and he also has a drilling company that for some reason sold to flamethrowers. Most recently, Musk has been in the news a lot recently because he wanted to buy social media platform Twitter for 44 billion US dollars. He then tried to back out of that deal before deciding to move ahead with it anyway. There's a lot we can say about Elon Musk, but you guys are here for the Taiwan angle. Like Musk, Taiwan has been in the news a lot recently. And that's because China, which claims Taiwan, has been ramping up military aggression around the country. People are worried a war might break out. Now, Elon Musk recently gave the Financial Times an interview in which he said, My recommendation would be to figure out a special administrative zone for Taiwan that is reasonably palatable, probably won't make everyone happy. And it's possible, and I think probably, in fact, that they could have an arrangement that's more lenient than Hong Kong. So basically, Musk is saying Taiwan should become another version of Hong Kong. Does Elon Musk know what happened to Hong Kong? First of all, I'm a little baffled at how the interview with Musk landed on the topic of Taiwan. I really wonder how the interviewer came to the conclusion that Musk is qualified to talk about Taiwan in a relevant capacity. He's neither Taiwanese nor has he ever demonstrated an inclination to talk about Taiwan-related topics. He seems to casually stop by and offer poorly thought out advice to solve another global problem. Second of all, trying to have an arrangement that's more lenient than Hong Kong doesn't seem viable to me. In 1997, Hong Kong was handed over to China, ending its 156 years as a British colony. As part of the handover, China agreed to give Hong Kong a high degree of autonomy. China said it would run Hong Kong under the one country, two systems principle, which is a model China often proposes to rule Taiwan with. Do you remember what happened to Hong Kong? In 2019, Hong Kong had massive pro-democracy protests, which resulted in crackdowns and death. Then in 2020, China passed the national security law in Hong Kong, which is simply an authoritarian tool of control operating under the guise of national security. China's model in Hong Kong was supposed to be based on leniency, but look at how that turned out. I really don't think Musk thought his response to the question through. Furthermore, amplifying the opinion of a billionaire on this geopolitical Rubik's Cube further erases the collective will of 23 million Taiwanese people. Listen to them. Like, Musk is good for the press, and I get that. But let's stop collectively paying attention to what that billionaire or this billionaire thinks about how the world should work, and instead listen to the people who have to live in that world.